So I just woke up guys and today is the day we are installing this exhaust it is gonna be legit but I have to go to work which sucks so I gotta go to work first and then I will be installing this when I get home I get home around like 2 p.m. so let's see how it does all right guys I'm now home from work it's like about to be 2 p.m. and I gotta finish this before it gets dark out so I got my exhaust all laid out and I have my gaskets over there I got my car in the garage to work on it. So let's get straight to this. I'm gonna first disconnect the battery and then I'm gonna instantly start working on taking the heat shield off. There's a bunch of bolts that are hard to get to, but I'm gonna try it out. My engine's a little bit hot still, but uh, it should be fine. And so my brother's helping me out. We just got the car jacked up and UPS has showed up. So that should be my cab access port, which is gonna be legit. So yeah, let's get straight into doing this. All right, so here is the package from UPS, top access port. Huh. We got a carrying case and everything. This is nice. Right, that's for the intake that came with it, which is legit. Cobb access port, there it is, guys. This is what is gonna tune my car. Ah, oh, this is legit. Got a little film on it, so I'm gonna take that off. But for right now, I'm just gonna package this back up and I'm gonna get working on my car. So luckily my heat shield, apparently that's like the hardest part is to get that off. But I had my engine swapped and they didn't fully put it back on. No, so it was, it was just two screws. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy. One attached right here and then one attached right here. <laughs> that was it. We just used this tool right here, 10 millimeter. Yep, pretty easy. That looks pretty cool. Now we gotta get all these bolts off, get the sound pipe out, and then we should, should be set. To get some PV blaster on that. Yeah, just we'll do that even before trying to unscrew those. Yeah. All right, now you just gotta grab your 14 millimeter on each side of the bolts and just start getting them off after you soak them. It's 14 on one side. <laughs> it's bigger on the other. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, it's 14 on one side. This one's a different size too. Wow, well. So, look, you can look at that. Look at that, and then look at that. They're not the same. Yeah. Th at least it came with all new set of uh, nuts and bolts. So, yeah. they're not gonna be mix matched. Oh, these came off real nice and easy. One thing good is none, nothing should be rusted because this has been replaced in the last year and so is the back half of the exhaust. Oh yeah, the entire engine swapped last year, so yeah. Yeah, half of them are 17s and half are 14. This is a different size, this is a 17 and a 17. That's so weird. Came off like a charm though, I like easy. Voila! So now it's, it's starting to get there. Yeah, like we've been stuck on this part for so long, it is retarded. So basically, way down there, and of course you can't see it because of the light. No, oh, there it is, like, there's a bolt. See that bolt, there's a bolt right there that we are trying to get, my finger is pointing at it right there. It is literally impossible to get. If we sprayed it with so much PB blaster, we're trying so many different methods to get it off. It is not coming off at all. And I am so annoyed and frustrated. Hmm, wasn't it just 2 p.m. and now it's dark outside? Yeah, I've been here, like it's now like 7 p.m. and we just now got this off. It's been a huge pain getting this off. The downpipe is now off. And now we're gonna put the new exhaust so you can see down there. We just gotta get the O2 sensor off the other one or wherever the sensor that is. I don't even know. We gotta get that thing off, put it on the new pipe. But dude, this has been the biggest hassle ever. I swear. Also, my hands have been so dirty you can just see the prints. Like, I start, like, it doesn't even matter anymore in my car. Don't even care, I started slapping some crap all over it because I don't know, this is just frustrating. Alright, so we just now got the NVIDIA downpipe on. Dude, it took so long to get everything done. It's now about to be 8 p.m. 
which is insane. All we gotta do is tighten these up, but before we tighten everything, we're just gonna go ahead and get everything lined up and up in the hangers. Like right now, we have the downpipe, and we're gonna get the cap back on there now. Swapping over to my phone. So we got the mid pipe on. It goes all the way down, and then we gotta add the cap back. And this is the O2 sensor. We got a brand new O2 sensor. We're gonna go ahead and zip tie these wires up top so they, they're out of the way and don't touch the pipe. Yeah, everything is looking good. Like the down pipe, way up there, going up to the turbo, looking good. But yeah. Yeah, it took about 15 minutes to put it on and about four hours to take it off. All right. And Okay. All right. Now for the down pipe. <laughs> the last part. So tighten up these bolts. All right, yeah, we are currently tuning it. Using the Cobb Access Port tuner. Right now it's just saving the stock tune. And I had to like, plug a bunch of stuff in up here. I don't even know. It's weird, but yeah, so. Get back to you whenever it is tuned, and then we're I mean, gonna start it up. This thing literally tells you everything to do. Yeah, it's step by step. It's pretty easy. Yeah. First, start up with this new exhaust on. It sounds pretty good. It's a good little sound I got going on. Yeah, we're gonna pull out pretty soon and see how everything is. All right, guys. I am now in my car. With the Stage 2 uploaded on the cob, and now we are gonna get going. It's my first time driving it. I can't see anything on my tinted windows. <laughs> the light being on probably doesn't help. Yeah, it doesn't at all. It's my first time. Oh, oh, you can hear the turbo. Yeah. My throttle response already feels better than before. Like, I, like I can just tell that my car feels healthier, and, and uh, I feel I'm so happy right now, guys. You don't even understand. After all that hard work. Guys, it feels amazing. The oh. spooling sound is back. Oh yeah, I can hear that, that turbo spool up. It's like Shh. Oh man, I love it. But it feels pretty good outside right now as well. Oh, oh man. Right, I'm doing my first pull. I'm in second gear. Let's see how it is. Oh man. Until daytime to show you guys some exterior clips and all that. I'll probably come back on the same road because it's closed right now, and I'll get some drive-bys and all that, and get some exhaust notes. It's gonna be awesome. I do work tomorrow though, so I won't be able to film that much. But yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed this video of the Stage Two Cobb Access Port Nvidia Full Exhaust. It was a pain. 
but we just kept at it. Like I told myself I am not gonna give up until this car is done. Like I was gonna stay up almost all night working on this if I couldn't get it done. But yeah, and it all paid off. It's like oh every all my times are reset. It's now 9 p.m. I started working on this car at 2 p.m. today when I got off work, so it was a hell of a ride to get this up, but it's good. And I'm glad that I was able to get it done by myself with help. And I just want to say thank you to my brother for helping me out. That was awesome that he was able to help out as much as he did. Also, his friend James came by, helped out a lot as well. And my dad did too. Thank you guys all for helping me. And thank you guys for watching this video. It means a lot. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.